Hey everyone, I'm Trigger Militia from the Militia Gaming Community and today I bring you a review video on the HyperX Cloud Revolver S headset. There's a couple of things I want to mention before I start the review and that is that number one, I only review products that I use. So I've used this headset for 60 hours before I wrote the review and so I just wanted to let you know that's really really important to me because there are a lot of reviews out there that I feel like people take out of the box and then review it right away. So secondly, uh, I only review products for the Xbox platform specifically. So uh, I grade these products, I review these products based on how well it works with the Xbox um, and in particular the Xbox One S. Uh, number three, uh, all the audio uh, for this review has been recorded using the headset that's in the review. So that's why I have it on, that's why I'm talking into the mic now. Uh, I want you guys to be able to uh, hear what the mic actually sounds like um, throughout the entire video. So pay attention to that as I'm describing the different features, uh, the benefits, the pros and the cons. And lastly, um, I'm not going to give you my recommendation until after the video is over. So uh, please stay through the whole video and look forward to the recommendation at the end. The HyperX Cloud Revolver S features a very techy design with its metal overframe and bulky speaker covers. It gives the appearance of durability and comfort which are two must-haves when selecting a headset. Bottom line, this headset looks way more expensive than it is and that's a huge plus for me. There's only one word to describe the sound quality of this headset. Impressive. The Revolver S features Dolby Surround 7.1, which for those who don't speak audio tech is like being in a home theater with seven speakers around you. This allows you to pinpoint exactly which direction and how far away the sound is coming from, which is especially beneficial when playing competitive FPS games. The 50mm drivers are positioned parallel to the ear, providing absolutely mind-blowing highs and mids while still managing to slap of the bass, man. The durability of this headset is no doubt top tier. The metal frame allows this headset to take some serious abuse. You can twist, stretch, or both at the same time and you will not break it. I'd say that unless you throw it through a wall after rage quitting, you're likely going to upgrade to a new headset before this one breaks. And for the kind of money you're dropping on this, I would expect nothing less. I've worn this headset for over 60 hours, so I've had plenty of time to evaluate the comfort of this bad boy. Most of the time when I game, I sit down for 3-6 to six hours straight, so comfort is definitely a huge concern for me. With many of my past headsets, I would get pressure headaches and sore spots around my ears, and unfortunately by the end of the night after wearing this headset, I had some of the same issues. Don't get me wrong, it's pretty comfortable for an hour or so, but after that it starts to become uncomfortable and I start adjusting it constantly. My feeling is that the self-adjusting headband on the top is got to be loose enough for someone with a larger head. However, my head is fairly small, so the headset's weight is not being supported by the headband at all. It's only being supported by the ear cups, clamping against my head. So over the course of a couple of hours, it starts to hurt around my ears. I'm not happy with the comfort level of these Revolver S's. My Cloud X's are a thousand times more comfortable. Okay, maybe not a thousand times, but they for sure are more comfortable than these Revolver S's. Alright, let's talk price. HyperX is really asking you to show them the money on this one. This set comes in at around 150 bucks. You may be able to find a deal here and there, I was able to pick this one up on Amazon for 132 bucks, but if you can't find them on sale, it's definitely a good chunk of change. Most, and I say this loosely, most people do not need something this expensive. However, if you have the budget for something like this and you want high quality audio, then you may want to consider this headset. Something, for the best 
Unfortunately, Xbox One does not support USB audio, which means you cannot take advantage of the number one feature of this headset, the Dolby surround sound and audio control box. This doesn't mean that you can't use it for Xbox, but it does mean that you will be paying too much for something you can get in a more value-oriented headset like the Cloud X or the Stinger. Additionally, I noticed that without the audio control, you will not have the ability to mute or adjust volume without going into your Xbox settings or using a chat pad. Alright guys, to summarize, I want to say that the headset has excellent build quality, uh, sound is excellent, the mic is very good, the price point is so-so, and the compatibility with Xbox is a no-go for me. Um, it just doesn't work. You can't take advantage of all the features that this headset has to offer on the Xbox platform. And to give HyperX credit, they don't market this headset as an Xbox specific headset or even an Xbox compatible headset. But I did want to try it out and see how it worked on an Xbox because it did get good reviews elsewhere. So if you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you're in the market for a headset, please leave a comment in the section down below and I'll link everything about this headset uh, in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe. That's how we grow. That's how it helps us. Thanks guys. See you next time. Busted.